What's up y'all, it's your boy Brandon here. Uh, just wanted to check in and first of all say thank you guys so, 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 so very much for your love and support on the video, Dear Christians. As of recording this video today, we're at 6,000 plus views, like over 75 shares on the video and we couldn't have done it without your guys' love and support for that video. So once again, thank you guys so very much. But today's video is not about that. Actually, what today's video is about is another poem off of my album entitled Packville. We recently began shooting a video for it and finished shooting a video for it with 23-24 Productions, aka my boy Cleve, uh, as well as Takeo Productions, aka my boy Titus. Uh, myself and my good dear friend Zariah star in this, I guess you could call it a short, uh, but the content of the poem, I believe, deserves a little bit more explanation than what the poem will give you. This poem, in relation to the album, comes right after a the main character of the album finds out that his sister was sexually assaulted. Um, and in relation to that, for this poem, this poem is going through the societal creation of rapists here in America and largely in the term for our world. Um, and one of the central points of this poem is this term called misogyny. And the term misogyny means a dislike of or contempt for or ingrained prejudice against women. This term misogyny is something in which is rarely ever used, but is oftentimes highlighted in terms of actions given towards women and which have been widely accepted for a very long time here in our culture. For instance, things like catcalling in which, you know, oftentimes men will do in trying to show some type of affection or care for a woman. But in all honesty, we know what that is. We know it's simply horny men who are trying to, you know, parade themselves to be something greater than what they actually are. And being a man who loves Jesus and who serves Jesus first and foremost, that's not how men should carry themselves. We are to be servant leaders. We should be the first ones willing to sacrifice and to lay ourselves down at the hands and needs of women for the sake of the embitterment of us as a community, us as family, and us as a nation, and more greatly so, us as a collective human beings. But unfortunately, that is not always the case. And most oftentimes, our culture promotes something very different. You'll see it in movies, television shows, in which you'll see the douchebag guy, if you will, who exhibits all of these perceivably negative behaviors and then somehow some way still gets praised for it still gets idolized for it now of course while we're watching the movie we're like yo finger wag out on that's not that's not what you should do that's not what you should do but it also comes in more subtle ways things like yo i was nice to this person so in kind they should repay the favor with, you know, things like sex or a relationship. Myself personally, I'm very guilty of the latter. I had tons of people who I was attracted to early on. And due to the fact that I was a good friend, I was a good person. I had good grades. I didn't mistreat women. I didn't do anything wrong to them. But the reason in which I did those things did not come out of a heart of wanting to be a servant leader or a loving friend or just a good genuine person, but it was out of an expectation of being able to receive something in reciprocation. And that's not how we should function. That's misogyny at its finest. So this video is exploring how we as men are raised in a culture in which breeds this type of a mentality, this pack mentality of like, you know what, I'm going to go get mine no matter what the cost, no matter what it will cost the person who I take it from, no matter what it will cost to the person in which they love or care about their family, their friends. 
or what it'll cost myself. Parts of our innocence are continually robbed and stripped from us at a very young age. We know the stories, we know the phrases of man up, which personally I have no issue with that phrase because I believe in the true concept of what being a man is and that is being a servant before you are ever longing to be served. But unfortunately, too often times men desire to be served far more than they desire to serve others. So this poem is an exploration of the concept of misogyny in which breeds rapists and which creates men into those very rapists. Now, am I saying all men are rapists? No, by all means, I'm not saying anything to that nature at all, because Lord knows I'm not that. But what, am I, but what I am saying is all men who are born and raised in this country have been taught aspects of misogyny in which we have normalized, whether it be the expectation of sex within a relationship, even when they're not desiring it to themselves, or the attention of a woman, simply due to your kind actions. Both represent a flawed concept of morality in which Christ would never identify with. The reason which we do the things in which we do comes out of a genuine love and care for the other person in which we do them for. Not out of anything in which we do in return. Not out of anything in which we will get in return. Think about Christ on that cross. What did he have to gain? Absolutely nothing. But he did it out of the unconditional love that he had for us. So men, as this video plays, there will be people in which will look at this video and they'll hear some of the lyrics both men and women who will not agree and I'm comfortable with that. I like for my art to be challenging to people. That's why I made it. But in re-listening to my poem, I wanted to give everybody an equal opportunity to be able to digest it well. This is not to justify the actions of particular men in which decide that they are going to rape or sexually assault women or vice versa with women who sexually assault men. But what this poem does explore is how they get to be those people. In my eyes, grace is always something in which can be applicable. I understand not everybody has that concept, but I do. My God does. Nobody's too far away from redemption. So with all that being said, I would like to introduce to you all a poem entitled Pack the Law for my album and which talks deeply about the way our culture teaches men in particular how we can use women for our own selfish benefit and how sometimes we don't have a choice on whether or not we learn those lessons, but they're ingrained in us from the very beginning. I hope you enjoy this. We spent a long time making it. God bless, love y'all.